Good morning, children. How are you today? You're fine? Very good. That's great. I am Teacher Jubita, your English 6 teacher. Before we start, let us have a short prayer. Let's bow down our head. Almighty Father, we thank you for the gift of life. Send your Holy Spirit to guide us to be a good children and bless our mind to understand the lessons today. This we ask through Jesus' name, Amen. Hello children, are you ready and excited to our new lessons for today? Wow, that's good! We will play a game, a guessing game. I have here a box, inside the box, an object and pictures. What are you going to do with this object and pictures? Well, I will tell you something about its object and pictures and then you guess. And tell me what is it? It's an object. This object is sweet, juicy and fluffy. Brown and color orange. This one. Very good. And orange. The orange taste sweet and pulpy. Next. It's an object. This object is hard. Long. Color yellow. And use to write. Yes. Amazing. You get it. It's a pencil. The pencil is pointed, long, and color yellow. Next, it's a picture of place. This place has many classrooms, wide and clean. Who can guess? Wow. You're right. It's a school. It has many classrooms. White and pink. Next. It's also a picture of lady. You see it in the school. She teach to read and write. Do you know what is this? An orange is pulpy. Describe the picture. While sweet and juicy, describe the taste. It is round. Describe the shape of an orange. It is an orange. Describe it. Pulpy, sweet and juicy, brown and orange. Describe an orange fruit. Next, a pencil. What did you tell about the pencil? Yes, very good. A hard and long and color yellow. Let's describe the pencil. Hard describes the quality, long describes size, and yellow refers to color. Next is a picture of teacher. She, yes, very good. She is smart, intelligent, and committed to teach pupils. Smart, intelligent, and committed describe the qualities of the teacher. What have you been? With words, pulpy, sweet and juicy, brown, orange, long, hard, white and clean. They are describing words and they are called adjectives. They describe the quality of the person, place, things or animals. 
the word in number, color, shape, and size are all also called adjectives. They are also used to describe smell, taste, looks, sounds, and even the pictures of something or someone. Now, it's the time to give your own example. Can you look around you, then tell us something about anything or someone that you can see? Who's now ready to share their answer? Yes? Very good! Who else would, would like to share one more example? Very good! about this time of pandemic. Let us wash our hands regularly to keep our body healthy. What is the adjective? Very good! Healthy! Next one. The quarantine room is wide and clean. What is the answer? Yes! Great! Remember? Due to COVID-19 pandemic, we must wash our hands regularly. 2. Wear face masks and t-shirt. 3. Observe social distancing to prevent COVID-19. For you to further understand our lesson, I have here a story. The farmer and the golden egg. One day, the farmer found a golden egg in the ghost nest. The next morning, he found another golden egg. He became a rich man and boastful. The following morning, he went to his poultry farm very early. He wanted to find out if the ghost really lays golden eggs. He found out that his ghost led a golden egg. He thought of eating all the golden eggs in the ghost's stomach. So he went home and got an egg. Did you understand the story? Yes, very good. One, describe the egg. The egg is golden. Word golden. Two. How about the farmer? The farmer is greedy and boastful. Yes. The describing words greedy and boastful. Three. Describe the ghost. Yes, very good. The ghost. Word is why. If you were the farmer, are you doing the same? Why and why not? Very good. Yes, we should not imitate him because he is boastful and greedy. What is the moral lesson? You can get from the story. Yes, that's great. Be contented with what you have. Don't be greedy. Share your blessings. Now, let us have a group activity. Let's form three groups according to your interest. You can create some one point, short story, and even a role play. And make sure don't forget to use the adjectives. I will give you 10 minutes to do this. But before to proceed 
to your respective group. What? Very good! You need to show respect and unity or cooperation so you can finish your work efficiently and come up good outcomes. Here's the rubric. Serve as your basis. Discipline and cooperation, 5 points. Promptness, 3 points. Delivery, 7 points. Relation to the topic or correctness of the word, 10 points. A total of 25 points. You may now start. I will give you 10 minutes. Are you done, children? Wow, very good! And soon, you may now present your output. After which, we will have our feedbacking and give comments. Congratulations! That's great! You are all deserved a round of applause for the job well done. What are adjectives again? We are describing words. They describe the quality of the person, place, things, or animals. The words in number, color, shape, and size are also called adjectives. They are also used to describe the smell, the taste, the look, the sound, and even the textures of something or someone. And now, to check whether you understood our design, get a piece of paper, list down the adjectives found in the sentence. Number one, my daughter has curly hair. Number two, Aline Maria is a generous neighbor. Number three, Marian is a beautiful lady. Number four, there are wild animals in the forest. Number five, the painting is beautiful. Get the piece of short band paper and draw something or someone that you like. Then write a simple sentence and don't forget to use the describing words. You have 3 minutes to do this. 3 minutes, here we go!
Are you there? Very good. You may now pass it. Let's call it a day. God bless us all. Bye-bye. Thank you.